Hello everybody. So today I will talk about accounting. The topic today is about payback period, accounting rate of return, and net present value. So now I will show you how to answer. About payback period, we need to count how many years they will cover up about initial investment. So we have year one you got about ninety thousand, year two you got about eight thousand. We sum two number together, you got about ninety eight thousand. So that means after two years we got about enough ninety eight thousand to cover up about initial investment in here. So this one we need to put about number two. Similar for this one, year one you got about forty nine thousand. So we don't have enough to cover 98,000. Now we sum with the next year, 49,000. This one you got about 98,000. So we have two. The next one, proposal Z. We just have only one year, but one year you got about 98,000. So that means we have one year to cover about initial investment in here. So the best proposal, that's about this one. Z because the, this one only one year to cover so we need to choose about Z so when we compare about the best proposal on payback borders the year should be about the smallest so we choose this one question number two we use about accounting rate of return so the formula of this one So that should be about the average. Of cash flow. Or maybe we can use about net income. So later that we divide by initial investment. So Let's go for this one. We sum three numbers together because we have three years. So we need to divide by three because this is about the average. So about proposal S, we have 90 plus A plus 49. We divide by three. Later that we divide by initial investment is about 98,000. Because I just eliminate thousand in here, so we calculate this number, and we have zero point five. Now we do similar for this one. So we have forty nine, forty nine, forty nine. This is about why. We calculate this one and you got about 0 0.5. So we put 0 0.5 in here. 0 0.5 in here. And the last one, that's about Z. So we have 98,000 plus 0, 0. We divide by 3 over 98,000 and we have 0 0.3333. So we put this one going here. So we need to find the highest about accounting rate of return. So we just have only S and Y. They are the best. Now, let's go to net present value. The formula of the net present value. That should be about negative initial investment.
and then we put about the sum of cash flow over 1 plus r to the power of n so n in here they start from number 1 to infinity or maybe about n in here so we will put about negative 98 so we have 90,000, 8,000, 49,000 and we know that the interest rate or cost of capital is about 10% so I will put about 90 over 1 plus 10% plus 8 over 1 plus 10% to the power of 2 and 49,000 over 1 plus 10 percent to the power of 3 we calculate this number in here and we have 20,724 Now you can do similar for the next one. So this one we have negative twelve thousand five hundred ninety, and the last one that's about ninety eight. We put in here. you got about negative 8,909 so we need to choose the highest net resin value that's about S so we put about S in here and that is the technique how to answer this is the end thank you for watching